Does this ever happen to you? Suppose you want to go to another room and play on the internet. Do you have to get a 50 foot cord to do that? Not necessarily. We have some solutions. You've probably seen the word before, Wi-Fi, all over the place. And you may be wondering what that is and how it works. Well, now, if you already have internet at your home, then the only thing you need to do is to add a wireless router. Or you can call your local cable company or internet provider to come out and install one for you. The wireless router creates its own wireless signal to set up a network around your house with a 150-foot radius. Then you can use the computer in any room. You can use the uh, computer, phone, printer. Everything can be connected to this wireless local area network. Maybe you can even hook up other computers to the same network. And the good thing is, there are no wires. So you can send information between computers and other electronic equipment that is on the network. If you wanted to print something, you could send a signal to the printer from a laptop in another room. Now you've probably also seen Wi-Fi, also called Hotspot. They have them at various different places like cafes, coffee shops, and different stores. Now the speed of the information being transferred on that network really depends on the number of users. For example, if I'm the sole user of this network at the time, I get all the information access. If there's two users, then the information is divided in two. Three users, it's divided in three, and so on. Now suppose you're at home and you're on the computer and you're wondering why the internet is so slow on your wireless network. It's possible that other people could be leeching off of your wireless network. So it's really important to have a wireless network that is secured with a password. That prevents other people from using your network. So whenever you go ahead and set up that router, make sure you also go ahead and set up a password. And whenever you use Wi-Fi, suppose you want to use it to check your bank account, do some online shopping, or anything that would be password protected or have secure information, you really want to make sure that whenever you type in the address that you have this S, H-T-T-P-S, and you want to make sure that you have that lock. Those two together mean that the information is safe and other people can intrude on your information. Now, if you want to hear more information about this and other topics, please visit our website at projectendeavor.org or our Facebook or Twitter pages. So thank you very much for watching.